Hi, this is Rena from thecheesethief.com and today I'm going to show you how to decorate your keys with just nail polish and this is a great way so you can identify your keys in a cheap and easy way with just nail polish. So I am using gel nail polish just because it dries faster and it actually is more durable but you could totally do this with regular nail polish. It's just longer drying time and if you use your keys a lot the nail polish will chip but it actually takes a while for the nail polish to chip because I've done it on my keys and my keys have lasted over six months, um, but then there the parts of it do, do like scrape off. And if you don't like it, just take acetone and you can just remove it and then redo it. But um, this is the key that I made, and I'm going to show you how to do this exact same key with this pattern. Um, so let me show you what the materials that you're going to need. So you're going to need a key, and then I would just clean it with alcohol, um, just so that you have a nice clean key. You don't want if it's like really dirty, the nail polish will definitely rub off faster. And I'm using, um, for my base, I'm using gel nail polish, but for the flowers, I'm just using regular nail polish. And that's just because I don't have a lot of gel nail polish colors, but you can use all gel or all regular. It doesn't matter. So I'm using gray for my base. This is my top coat and this is going to be my flowers. And you can use any color you want for your flowers or your base. So let's get started. And for gel nails, you do need a LED light. So I'm using the Sensation Nail one, which I bought at Target. It's super cheap. Well, not super cheap. It's like five lamps. And just a protective surface. You don't want to get your table dirty. A toothpick. And then this is a dotting tool to make the flower pattern. If you don't have that, you can use a bobby pin. So I can show you with both. It's a little harder with the bobby pin, but not impossible. So first, I am going to take my key. And it's actually easier to do it on the side without the writing. I'm going to do it on the side and I'm going to take my gray and shake the bottle a little and then apply a very thin coat. So this is my gel polish and you could put tape on it or you could just try to have a steady hand. So as you see, I put a thin layer right there. And since this is, if you were to use regular nail polish, you'd want to wait for this to dry and, and then go to your next layer. But since this is gel, I'm going to use my LED lamp. And I put sunblock on my hand beforehand, um, just because I knew I was using this LED nail polish. So uh, just, it's better. And I don't look at the light too. So that's how it looks like. But I'm going to cover it because you're not supposed to look at the light, this UV light. So sunblock on, cover it, put sunglasses on. This is in my other gel nails. I put a little gel nails demo out there. So just some safety precautions. I mean, it is UV light. You just want to be safe um, when you're using it. So I just do that. And I use this snip sunblock if you want to see it, you know, baby. But whatever works, whatever you have. Or you can wear a glove. That's another alternative. Okay. So there, it's dry, so I'm going to do uh, one more let coat because it's a little streaky. Okay, so that's dry, and um, now I am going to take my lint-free cloth over here and just wipe off for gel nail polish. You're supposed to take alcohol and rub off the residue, and for some reason when I do colored nail polish without the top coat, it does rub off some of the color. I think the residue is colored. So this is my alcohol that comes with the gel nail polish and then you're just going to rub it and it just rubs off the residue. So it does rub off some color but I think that's normal because that's just the residue. So that's, that's the thing. That's the key. And now I am going to start doing the color. So the color I'm going to use pink and blue for the flowers and this one I only use pink but I'm going to try something different and use blue. So 
So to make the flowers, you're just gonna get this is just a uh, piece of paper, like it's thick so that it doesn't seep through. And then I'm gonna use my dotting tool, and I'm gonna use the big side. So I just grab. You can see that. And then I'm going to make a flower. So flower with five petals. over there so like that and then I'm gonna take a little toothpick this is my little toothpick and then I'm just gonna pull in do you see what I'm doing it's just putting so let me see if you can see that so it adds a little texture to your flower now I'm going to take my white I was going to show you how to use this to make a flower um, so what I do is I open up the bobby pin so if you don't have uh, this dotting, the tool you can use this and I don't really have space, but I guess I could put like one little flower here. You see this creates dots too. They're a little more oval than dots, so you may have to just play around with it a little. But if you find something around your house that would work, like then Flip that up. You can see that. So now I would have to wait for this to dry, and then once this dries, I would put a clear coat. And my clear coat is gel, so I put a gel clear coat over it, and then I put it underneath the UV lamp. And then you would go, and then you could do the same thing on the opposite side. So I usually finish one side before I do the other side. So that there are my two. Keys. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please visit me at thecheesethief.com for more tutorials like this. Also, if you happen to make these keys, I would love to see it. If you're on Instagram, be sure to tag me. My username on Instagram is thecheesethief. Thank you. Have a great day. And remember to be kind to one another. Until next time. Bye now.